As a beginner in Python, one of the most important functions it's worth knowing about is the map function. And this is really useful for taking some sequence and then applying some function to each item in that given sequence. So say for example, we have a list of names here. If we set up a new list, let's call this names again to overwrite it. We'll then do list just so we can convert the map object into a list and see it again. Then if we say map in here like so, this is going to take in some function followed by an iterable. So let's begin just by saying len like this, and then we'll pass in our iterable, which is names. So running this, we can see 5453. That's because it's passed each of these strings in turn through the len function, and then given out, of course, 5 for James and 4 for John and so on. You can also pass in a lambda function in place. So if we do lambda instead, let's do lambda x, and then we'll return x of zero like this. This will pass in each of these names into here. This lambda function will then give back j, j, a, and i, as we can see in the output below. We could also do things like this. So if we say from string, Let's go ahead and call the upper method. This will now take in all of the names like so. Or say, for example, you were to find your own function like this, we can actually go ahead and remove this and then reference our own function. So those are just a few ways upon which we can use the map function. And this might be ideal if at the moment you're simply iterating through a list, calling a function and then appending the item. Using list and map, you can often get the same output.